everyone and welcome to Kids Connected. My name is Grace and I'm the Content Operations Specialist here at Kids Connected. Today I'm going to be reviewing Miss Lisa and she is the owner of a company called Twinkling Toes Dance. And we are going to be talking to her about her different classes and the things she likes to do and what she likes to teach. And it's going to be super exciting and super cool. So I hope you stay and I hope you join me. It's going to be so awesome. I can't wait to get to know her more and, and speak to her over live chat with you guys. So just give us one moment and we're going to see if Miss Melissa can join. Ah, and here she is. Is adding, so let's see. <laughs> she should be with us in one moment. Okay. There we go. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? you thanks so oh, wonderful it's so great to meet you over chat and get to know you more and get to talk to you um i'm grace as you know would you like to introduce yourself like tell us a little bit about yourself tell us where you're from certainly so my profile it says melissa but that's not fun so my students all call me miss missy and Aww. it's just a I know, and I didn't even make it up one of my little girls made it up so my little girls call me miss missy Aww. and I live in Georgia, and this platform has been amazing and so fun to just reach new opportunities and new kids that I'm not just held to my little neck of the woods. I, I dance with kids, literally, different time zones and all over the U.S., and I never a year ago would have ever thought this was possible, and it's so cool. I love it. I love your passion for dancing. I love looking through your different activities. They seem so fun. Uh, I'm a dancer myself. I danced for oh. 13 years since I was like three to like 18. Like I danced so long and it's like such a passion for me. I've done it forever. So I have a list of questions here that we can jump right into. Um, so tell me a little bit about your passion for dance. Like, like tell me like what dance means to you. Certainly. Well, I, I feel like I'm like you. I started when I was two. Uh, I was that little girl, just constantly had my tutu on and spin it around. And my mom was like, we need to find something for you to do. <laughs> she found a, a dance studio for me. And I was fortunate enough to dance with the same dance family from the time I was two till I graduated high school at 18. Oh. And it was home away from home. I spent hours there every night and, you know, ballet led to tap, tap led to jazz, to yes. hip hop, acro, to baton, like you give it to me and it was just always in me. And as I grew up and, you know, moved around and moved to different cities, I, you know, maybe would let it fall off to the side a little bit. And I remember calling my mom one day and just being like, I'm just, I don't feel right. I'm sad. I don't know what's wrong. And she, she said to me, are you dancing? And I was like, no, I'm not Dan. So the next day I looked up a dance studio in my 20s, found a studio, and I, I came to life again. And I realized then <laughs> that <laughs> it's something I was going to have to keep doing because it just, it's what I do. That's I so great. I, I totally relate to that because once I graduated from high school, um, the dance studio that I was working with was like, oh, since you graduated, you can't <laughs> do this anymore. So I started to have to like look things up and get like virtual with it, which I think is such a great opportunity about your dance studio is you is you touch those students that aren't able to go into class, maybe for personal reasons or because of the pandemic. And I just love that, that they can come to you virtually over Kids Connected and, and meet with you that way. I, I love, that's awesome. 
What a wonderful answer. Um, let me see, I have another question. So how did you begin like the Twinkling Toes Dance Studio? Like where did that name come from? Like how did you start? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I started in 2018 and um, I have two kids and I'm a homeschool mom. So I homeschooled them for seven years. So I was home and it was us. And it came a time where they were like, mom, it's time to go to public school. So I said, let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> And it was one of those, let's redefine, let's see where I'm going next and what I'm doing. And I'm not kidding, it's a piece of paper in front of you and writing down what you love and what you're passionate about. I have three things. <laughs> I love preschoolers. I love yes. them. They are my favorite. They're honest, they're sweet, they're sugar. They're so, so anything, cute. <laughs> anything I can do with preschoolers, right? Yes. Sure. I'm a teacher it, by nature. After you homeschool for seven years and you're putting together curriculum and planning, teaching. Then Definitely. You, right? <laughs> you keep the dance there. So I am a preschool dance teacher. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow. You feel like the three things that you're amazing at into one, and then you yeah. catered it to kids like virtually. Like, that's so amazing. You're such an amazing person. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> that's so great. Yeah, that's great. So like, how did you get into like the virtual world um, everything? Yep, yep. So I was teaching uh, my original model was to go into um, where my kids were. So at that age, I didn't want moms to have to run around back and forth and try to find activities. So I go to daycares where they are. I go to churches for Mother's Morning Out. I go to preschools and I'm their arts and their enrichment. So, and I didn't want to have the responsibility because I'm not trying to grow with them. I know my niche and I know what I love and I know what I'm good at. So I just want them in my little bubble. And then when they're ready and they're older or they're going to take another path that they can move on. But I just want this beginning and I want to be their first teacher and their first introduction to this beautiful, beautiful thing called dance. So, I love it. I started off, you know, brick and mortar, going to my schools, and then I transitioned when we shut down to still, I miss my kids every week. So I just did my class and I just saw my girls and it was a light bulb moment. Like why, I don't need to just see them. I can see everybody. So yes. I did my own and just started marketing and started, you know, just spreading the word. I dance with kids in my neighborhood. They'd log in, cousins and across the town. I you know? love it. <laughs> just a and big community. Yes, that's so great. Thank you. That was an amazing explanation. Thank you for bringing me through that journey. That was so great. Uh, so let me see. I have a couple. So can you tell me a little, like, specifically, like, what in your childhood, like, sparked that dance passion? Because I know, if, like, for me, I had a specific teacher. Her name was Miss Katie, and she just brought it to life for me. Like, she just painted this, like, beautiful picture in my mind of what dance was. Like, what was it for you that specifically, like, stuck out in your childhood that made you want to pursue dance more? Sure. Um, I would say that uh, there came a point where I was dancing hours, right? Four hours every night. Saturdays, like just anything I could do to be there. And my mom came to me and was like, Miss, I know that, the, that you love this, but this is just, it's getting to be a lot and it was getting to be expensive, a uh, you know, hobby. So I said, okay, uh, let me see what I can do to help. And what, what can I do? So I asked my studio owners and I said, I sat them down and I said, what can I do? I can't leave here. I need to be here. How do I help? So at the age of 12, I became a student teacher. So oh. first day when I walked in and I got to stand at the front of the class and I had all those little faces looking at me <laughs> and that responsibility and it just literally, I will never forget that day. And so oh. for the rest of the year there, I just, I've always, I've taught from the age of 12, I've so. so wonderful. So it was kind of like almost that like teacher realm that like sparked like both your your intense interest for dance and the teaching side. It was like that moment that like tied the two together. And who knew that you'd be here with your yep. own dance studio on Kids Connected teaching virtual classes. Like if you would have told the like 12 year old you like that was yep. going to happen, 
your mind would have been blown. You would be like, what? <laughs> like in that yeah. moment, that's, that's so cool. great. So currently right now, like what kind of classes do you have on Kids Connected? Like what, like specifically? So I keep it simple. So I, it is just my preschool beginner ballet. I say my age group is three to five, but I have two and a half year olds that log on and they do it start to finish. I have other six year olds that log in because they don't want to leave me. So it's just like that little range, um, but it is basic intro. So I am not trying to put your feet exactly where they need to be. And it is not strict. It is all about body awareness and fun, engaging songs. So I'm big on like themes and props. So, I mean, I'm t we dance with dolls. I've got wands, we have scarves, all things you can I love it. that just brings um, a little bit more to it. So we'll rotate themes. And um, I have my classes set up that they are just drop in. So right now, nobody knows what's going on. You don't want the long time commitment. So they are genuinely set up to just do drop ins. So if you, and I have children who drop in every week, right? And they just, uh -huh. up. I have others that come in every other week or, you know, once a month, yes. pop out. So I do have some students I have danced with since March, beginning of the pandemic. Then I've got the newbies coming in. Uh -huh. So I found a way to keep my playlist and keep it where it is predictable in the sense of we know what we're going to do, but I just constantly am changing uh, skills that we're working on and changing to go with different themes. So I keep my uh, long-term students engaged, but at any point, one kid can drop in and still pick up and enjoy and get benefits from it. I love it. That was great. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. And I love like going back to your props. I, that's one thing that I remember from when I was a dancer, like those specific teachers that brought in props and went the extra mile to ignite that passion. Those are the ones that I remember the most. Um, I remember one time in my childhood, my teacher did a fairy class and she had us make our own fairy wings and wands. And to this day, and it was that specific teacher that I was talking, Miss Katie, and yep. it always comes back to me that once. So you're definitely an inspiration and you're definitely going to in inspire these kids to, to like keep going and dance and to remember you. Like I'm sure they're gonna be like, I remember when I was so little and kids connected, Miss Melissa, Missy, Miss Missy, tell me oh. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so great. So tell me a little bit, do you have any like new classes coming that like our audience can be looking forward to or like expecting to sign up for? Sure, so right now my classes are Tuesdays. I have a class at 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Then on Thursdays at 11 a.m., just trying to help get the later crowd, morning crowd, and it's all in the Eastern time zone. And then every now and then, I like to uh, collaborate with you guys and just do these um, free events where they're just drop-ins. So Christmas, we did our Winter Wonderland, and it was all just nutcrackery and um, I winter love it. so fun. Then another popular one is my just pretty pretty princess. Um, yes. where it's all themed and every single thing is related back to just being royal and um, having tea parties and, you know, doing yes. it all. So, um, I don't have a special one on deck right now, but when I do, I'll be sure that we will post and we will mark it and we will let people know when it is coming. Um, but I just like to keep my uh, classes going throughout the week. Yes. And just, <laughs> or what you know a summer kickoff and a fall kickoff so you have to keep your eyes open for my spring kickoff <laughs> we definitely will well thank you so much for your time thank you for telling us your journeys and telling us how you have such a passion for not just teaching but teaching dance and, and, and enlightening kids and really sharing your passion thank you so much for spending this time this was wonderful thank you and thank you for being patient with our little glitches